Feels, welcome back. Today uh, we are reacting to a commercial. Uh, a lot of you guys suggested for us to check out Safeguard Protection for Life. Okay. And I think you would pronounce it as Pabon Sabuhai. Probably wrong and you know. But it's Protection for Life. So let's go ahead and give it a go. Oh, so he's from a, like a rural area? Maybe, yeah. Was that him when he was little? Mm hmm. Ah. Oh. His heart is not clean. That's a wonderful mom. So he's dressed traditionally? Yeah, I think it represents. Aww. Mad, you know. palitan, mga kaklasiko puro bagong suot. Gusto mo ba na itago na mahirap lang tayo? Alin ang karapat dapat hangaan? Isang taong madali ang buhay? Yeah, that's amazing. She's a wonderful mother. But being young like that, it's hard. Yeah. Like. <laughs> There's always a stage in life that you know you're gonna overcome. Tuma, ganito rin ang afro ng mga basketbolista sa TV. Hindi ganyan ang tunay na buhok ng kita. Pero mas pinapansin ako ng mga kaklase ko ngayon. Kailangan ba talagang magbago para lang matanggap ka ng ibang tao? Oh, is he there for his own graduation? I think so. And he's wearing his traditional... Mr. Norman King! Yeah! Oh, Graduate from the Philippines premiere in the state university. Turo sa akin ng nanay ko, kapag oh, natanggap ko na kung sino ako, mas malayo ang mararating ko. Well, and... <laughs> no! Okay! That's true. Ipinagmamalaki kong ako'y isang aitang Pilipino. Aita. Give some protection for life. Oh, wow! Oh! Safeguard. Family germ protection. <sighs> didn't expect that this to be. No, didn't expect that to Because we usually leave the set, the commercials to last, so, you know, the crying happens. Oh but my this gosh. Is... A few minutes later. An indigenous people who live in scattered, isolated mountain part of the island of Luzon, the Philippines. Well, we do know that there are so many islands out there. And there are lots of islands, and you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me for there to be indigenous people that live in like different areas of those islands. I mean, it's just kind of like you know, they, these people have sort of, have lived in these 
areas for hundreds and hundreds of years and built their own culture and their own traditions and stuff like that and that's something that should be respected at least I think so yeah like um, no matter how much modernization there is like I really admire those cultures that are able to live harmoniously not only with the modernizations of life but also to keep their the ancient yeah traditions traditional culture you know ancient traditions together so yeah. and I, I like that's amazing. That was a really good, and it and it's it's amazing to like. And I like how because it shows mom. it shows uh, you know the whole the journey from young age to an adulthood. Yeah. You know that people later on in life do a more ex acceptance of things rather mm -hmm. when you're younger. Younger kids don't really think. Yeah, they don't. Well, and it's and it's not really it's not 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 the children's fault. No. I think it's more of like the parents should be more mindful about explaining to their children that there are people out there who look differently yeah. or who act differently or have a different kind of culture or a different kind of tradition than you do. And and I think that a lot of it is children I think it's more kids can be really cruel sometimes. <laughs> like my daughter has looked at me and been like, You're fat and <laughs> um, you know, but but at the same time I think a lot of it for children is like curiosity as well like they want to know things and and as adults we can be very like don't look at them don't look at like at the beginning of the video where she was like don't don't say anything don't point them out i don't think that that's necessarily the right approach to that i think that you need to Explain when your that. child expresses that curiosity about a different person it's okay to sit down and explain to that child. You know, not everybody's the same. We don't have the same eye color. We don't have the same hair color. We don't have the same skin color. But it could be as easy as we don't eat the same, same foods. foods. Yeah, but they're still a person, and you need to respect them and treat them as a person. You yeah. know, like they they are humans. They are people. You have to respect other people. Yeah. So I agree. Yeah. I, that's why we there are just so many people out there mm -hmm. you know so many different cultures so many different things that you can yourself learn mm -hmm. and be you know I think it's it's very impressive yeah. I think it's very interesting yeah. I think it's wonderful you know I love learning about different cultures I would yeah. love to travel to mm -hmm. the places and seeing and yeah. trying things out and, and you know, I think it's awesome you know, and just because somebody lives differently than you do just because they have different values than you do just because they look differently than you do does not mean that they're less of a person exactly so, so this was definitely wonderful and i love how he showed mm -hmm. you know that his own his you know, story yeah yeah to it's everybody amazing. and everybody was they loved it they, yeah definitely i, I think mean, it was that's wonderful. your yeah be proud of who you are and just continue going strong mm -hmm. so thank you angel so much for this wonderful suggestion if you have any more please leave in the comments below other than that subscribe to his channel hit the subscribe button and the bell so you guys never types of nickels out and we'll see you next time bye